One of the real difficulties was the complete lack of equipment being supplied from Australia. For instance, we were supposed, I think they had no idea that there was no reticulated power at Bungtau. Everyone had used their own generators. And so they, in their wisdom, had sent me a one and a half kVA diesel own and diesel generator. And I was supposed to run a comm centre and a radio workshop and radio links off this one and a half kVA. Well, it wouldn't have won one of the uh, events. So I thought I'd go over and, and see if I could borrow some off the Americans. So I went to the American transport pool. And I don't know whether you remember the Bilko, TV show Bilko. There was Bilko. <laughs> it was unbelievable. There was this master sergeant in charge, a big cigar hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> it was Bilko. So I explained my problem and I was wondering whether there was a, a generator I could borrow until I get some money else up from Australia. And he said, no, no, no we, we don't have generators. But he said, over there there's a mobile workshop and on the front of it is a big generator and it's going back to the States next week and nobody knows what's on it. <laughs> he said, we go to lunch between 12 and 1. <laughs> so I got my troops together in one of these trucks, 12, and we wheeled into this transport section. And there in the middle of the ground was a forklift with a big spanner on it, on the seat. We take it across to where this workshop was and this generator was held in by four big bolts <laughs> that just this spanner just happened to fit. <laughs> so five minutes later, we're out there with this generator. And that, for about five, six months, ran the communication centre at Vangtia. 